Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a book that you can use to learn calculus and you can learn it without knowing any trigonometry. That's right, there's a book out there that you can actually use to learn calculus without trig. You might say, well, isn't it better to know trig and learn calculus with trig? The answer is yes, but if you don't know trig and you just know some algebra, you can get started today with a book like this and start learning calculus immediately. So this is the book here. It is called Brief Applied Calculus, and it was by Beersford and Rocket. And I actually used this book to teach uh, a course in college for several years, and I thought that it was a great book. I read almost the entire book, and I've taken ideas that I have learned from this book, and I've applied them to my teaching uh, in other classes like Calc 1, Calc 2, and Calc 3. So that's how good this book is. So good that I've taken some of the things that I've learned from this book and tried to apply them to presentation techniques in other courses. So wonderful book. I highly recommend it. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description. I don't know if it's easy to find this book. Um, I don't know if it's that popular. I'm just going to give it a whiff here. Oh, it smells amazing. So how could you use this book to learn? So before we go through the contents, which are very, very interesting, uh, I'm going to show you how you can actually use this book to learn calculus. So let's go ahead and open it up. And let's just go to like the beginning of, let's just find some, do some computational stuff, differentiation formulas. You could, in theory, I mean, you could, in theory, start right here you know, with some differentiation formulas. You probably wouldn't want to start here. You probably want to start with limits. But in theory, you could start here and learn about derivatives. Derivatives, basically, I'll just tell you, if you have a function, f of x, the derivative of that function uh, is the slope, assuming that the derivative exists. So it's one way to think about it. Another way to think about the derivative is that it's the instantaneous rate of change. So basically how you use this is you go through and you just read. I like how, I like the layout. I love these yellow boxes, okay? It's very formulaic and, and the examples are very, very clean. Um, they show you everything. Here's an example. Look, use, using the power rule, look at this. You see, you see how they show you every step? You bring down the exponent, you see that? Then you decrease the exponent by one. That's that's the power rule. So that's how it works, right? So if it was so if it was x to the fourth, it'd be four x cubed, right? You bring down the four, subtract one. And then here's another example. Look, with one hundred, you see that's the, that's called the power rule. Now you know how to find derivatives, right? So you, now you know calculus. So it's a really good book. It's a wonderful book, and the entire book is like this. I especially like the uh, chapter on continuity. They do a great job. It's a really clean book. I wish all math books were like this easy to read. Now, this book is intended for a certain audience. It's intended for students who just know algebra. So the only prereq for learning this is just knowing some algebra. So if you know some algebra, you could jump in. So basically you go through, you read everything, and then you get to the exercises. Uh, when you do the exercises, I would recommend just doing the odd ones because that way you can check your work in the back of the book. You could also use AI to check your answers. AI should get most of these right, although I've seen it do some really weird stuff. So, yeah, do the odd ones and then check your answers in the back, and you should be good. You should be good. You can learn some calculus. Let's take a look at the content so you can see what it contains. It actually has topics from Calc 1, 2, and 3. That's right. So <laughs> even though this book is intended for people who only know algebra and no trig, um, it actually has topics uh, from, from those more advanced calculus classes, which is kind of fun. Let's go find those contents. Here we go. It starts with functions and derivatives and their uses. This is all Calc 1 stuff. Further applications of derivatives, all Calc 1 stuff so far. And then here we have exponential and logarithmic functions. So this is just a really easy section on these two things. It's very easy. And then integration and its applications. This is all Calc 1. There's some stuff here that um, you don't do in Calc 1, 2, or 3. Like these applications are actually pretty tough and you don't do them in the regular calculus courses. Likewise, over here in chapter three, the optimization stuff, you don't do these types of problems oftentimes 
in Calc 1. You do optimization, but you just do different examples. And right here, this, this further applications and optimizing lot size and harvest size. This is really tough. Uh, probably one of the hardest things in the entire book right here. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. So you do get some harder stuff in this book, too. So if you already know calculus, you still get a lot from this book. I've gotten a lot from this book, and I, you know, I've studied math, and I've taught the class, and I thought that I got a lot from this book. Just a really clean presentation, you know. Um, this stuff here is typically Calc 2, like integration by parts and proper integrals, tables, numerical, differential equations, and then some more DE stuff over here. And then this is Calc 3 stuff. Now, it doesn't have everything from Calc 1, 2, and 3, obviously. I mean, there's, there's a lot more in Calc 2 uh, than this, but it's kind of fun that the book has select topics, mostly being Calc 1 stuff, but it, but you do do you do get some you do get some calc two and some calc three stuff in there, and I thought that was really nice and generous of the authors um, to do that. So yeah, thank you. So yeah, very very um, good book. Love the layout. Let, let's look at something here. Let me show you how easy some of the stuff is. Let's go to like chapter. I think it was chapter four. I want to show you that exponential logarithmic stuff. It was just very easy. Yeah, look look, this is super easy. So basically, if you forgot what exponential functions were, no worries, right? They basically review it here <laughs> briefly, and then you have some really easy problems. Like you just put it in your calculator, and you know, what's the answer? Like some of the problems are very simple. Um, so the difficulty level here is low, is low compared to, um, you know, Calc 1, 2, and 3. I, I once had a student who took this class with me, and she was very, very intelligent. And she got an A. And she was thinking she could take Calc 2. And for some reason, she had taken Calc 1 a long time ago, but she forgot. But she had passed. But she thought she might be ready for Calc 2. Well, she tried Calc 2, but she, she couldn't do it. So the point I'm trying to make is that this is certainly easier than like Calc 2, uh, Calc 3. And it's certainly easier than Calc 1. Having said that, there's a reason, right? The audience is people who only know algebra. A student who takes Calc 1 has already had not just algebra, but they've had pre-calculus and trig. So that's the full year of mathematics, right? I mean, if they take one course a semester, that's, you know, it's and they take the summer off, you, you could consider that a full year of math in some sense. So two semesters of mathematics prior to, on, on top of the algebra. That's why Calc 1, 2, and 3 are so much harder than this. So a great book if you just know some algebra. This will help you a lot, though. Um, I mean, you learn calculus with this. It's just when you take Calc 1 and use a harder book, like, like this one here, Thomas Calculus, right? This is used for Calc 1, 2, and 3. Um, then then you're, you're better prepared. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, kind of a fun book. I hope it's been helpful. Take care.